you think the T-Rex was the king? Wait until you meet the guy who treated dinosaurs like giant snakes. Okay, folks, put down the Jurassic Park toys. We need to talk about the Carcharodontosaurus. Yeah, it's a mouthful to say, but this thing was an absolute nightmare. It lived in North Africa. And get this, it was actually longer than the T-Rex. While the T-Rex was built like a tank, this guy was built like a giant angry sports car. Bigger, but lighter. So, why the fancy name? It literally means shark-toothed lizard. And they aren't kidding. Look at that skull, it's over five feet long. That's big enough to swallow a person whole, without even chewing. But unlike the T-Rex, which crushed bones, these teeth were serrated steak knives. They didn't crush, they sliced. It was basically a giant land shark running at 20 miles per hour. Here's the crazy part. You almost lost this monster to history. The first bones were found in the 30s by a guy named Ernst Stromer. But then, World War II happened, and the museum holding the bones got bombed. Poof. Gone. For decades. This dino was just a ghost story, until scientists found new fossils in the Sahara, in the 90s. Talk about a comeback, kid. Now, Africa back then was a dangerous neighborhood. Our sharp-toothed friend had to share the rent with the Spinosaurus, you know, the one with the sail on its back. But they stayed in their lanes. Spino wanted fish and Carcharodontosaurus wanted, well, everything else. It mostly hunted giant long necks called sauropods. It would run in, take a massive bite, and let the poor victim bleed out. Brutal, right? Despite being huge, he wasn't exactly a genius. His brain was way smaller than a T-Rex's. He was all brawn, no brain. But with family members like Giganotosaurus in South America, this bloodline ruled the Southern Hemisphere for millions of years. So next time you think of a super predator, don't just think of the T-Rex. Remember the shark-toothed king of Africa.